hello and welcome to this demo so in this demo we would be looking at how to transform some data from a database to a flat file uh, we'll be transforming it to an excel file so um, let's just start with it um, initially you need to know about the tools where you could find them etc before we jump into bids and other stuff so let me just uh, navigate to C program files Microsoft SQL server 100 so here you'll find a number of folders let me just click on DTS and in the bin folder you'll be finding all your EXEs um, that, that are essentially the tools that we would be working with for this demo we'll need the DTS wizard so what we would be doing in this demo is uh, taking some data from a database and uh, pushing it into an excel worksheet so let me just double click on this so this will pop up a wizard this is called as the sql server import and export wizard click on next so here what it does is um, it asks me for my data source this is basically the configuration that we are doing at the source level the next step would involve configuring the destination level so my source as I told before is um, the database so let me choose appropriate one so here you'll find a number of providers depending upon your source you'll have to configure the providers so for this demo we'll be choosing SQL Server Native Client 10.0 the next is to configure the server name so it lists me down all my servers and the instances next you'll have to provide the authentication information uh, as to how to connect to your SQL server in this case it's SQL server you could either use uh, win authentication or SQL server authentication I'm going to leave it as it is the next task would be to choose your database in all our examples mostly we'll be using the adventure works database so let me just choose the adventure works database on clicking next I need to configure uh, my destination properties so we are pushing some data from DB to file so my file is a destination here you, the first step would be to configure the providers so I'll choose Microsoft Excel I'll have to give it a file path so let me just create a new folder called as demos and um, I'll create one more folder called as files I have to give it a file name let me just call it as db2 file here you can configure the excel version that you need to use I'll take the latest one that is Microsoft Excel 2007 is it's good to check this option it will give you the headings so it basically says the first row has to be the column name so whatever is in the database according to your schema your column names would be the first row in your Excel sheet I'll just keep this checked I'll click on next in this step um, basically I am given two options either I could copy data from one or more table or views or actually write a query so if you want to write a query you are presented with a screen in which you um, just uh, start typing your query but um, this is not a good place to do so because you don't have any table add table or GUI support or anything in this so what I'm going to do is for this demo purposes I'll just copy data from one or more table or views so this lists me down all the tables that are present in adventure works so that is the source that is the DB so let me just choose one table for demo purposes I'm choosing human resources dot department I could preview the data so this would give me a short preview of the data that is present in the table it also gives me um, the query that would be fired in order to fetch these data so I could just review the query also and customize it accordingly if I need to edit mappings basically uh, gives you an overview of your source and destination columns 
so my source columns include department id name group name modified date i could edit the mapping over here or completely ignore it so that um, that particular column is not reflected in my excel sheet i'll just choose it for right now click on ok and i'll click on next so on clicking on next um, i could just review my data mapping data type mapping so here too i'll be presented with my source columns as well as the destination columns i could review the data types etc and make some modifications accordingly okay it also um, uh, allows me to configure certain other things like on error what should i do either i could ignore it or i could get it to a fail state i'll just ignore it for now i'll click on next here i could run the package immediately as well as save the ssis package um, in our future demos we would be uh, looking at ways in which we could e execute some ssis packages for now let us just check this we could either save it in sql server or rather in a file system uh, let me choose file system it also allows me to configure my package protection levels i could either encrypt all sensitive data with user key or with password etc for this demo i'm not going to save sensitive data i'll click on next and it asks me to give a new package name i'll give the package as say db2 file to give it a description i'm just going to leave it as it is and in desktop let me just create a new folder called as packages and save that and click on next so we are almost done with configuring the wizard so it gives me a summary of all the configurations that i have made so it lists down the source location the destination location and so on and so forth you can just review these details and probably click the back button and if you need to change anything you could go ahead and do with that i'm happy with these configurations so i'm going to click on finish okay so looks like our uh, transfer has been succeeded successful sorry um, so let's review the data so we saved it in demos files and here if i open excel uh, it's going to just give me a small warning because uh, i saved it as dot xls we click next so uh, here i could see the data from my db to this file so let's review the database also skill server management studio so i'll connect it to my database engine So in my databases, adventure works, tables, if I select the top thousand rows, so it's going to give me top thousand rows, 16 rows over here, engineering, research and department, development, sorry, and uh, so on and so forth. So you could see how easy it is to uh, transfer some data from a database to a file. So we have done it through wizard. In our future demos, we'll look at other possibilities also. Thank you.